Our next competitor represents Finland, 15-year-old Ida Karunen, 12th after the short program. Needs a 119.51 to take the lead. Best score is 116.22, so certainly has the ability as she will skate to Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Well, another very, very strong performance. 15 year old Ida Karunen from Finland. And all I could think of while watching this young woman in Anastasia Bradenberg as well was these young skaters might be just putting Japan and Korea on notice. We maybe not be there yet, but we're on our way. We're catching up, we're closing the gap. This is good for the sport. No disrespect at all because the Japanese and Koreans have been so dominant and so brilliant. But they've also inspired a new breed of skater around the world. Still lots of refinement to do and lots of speed to carry on the end of these jumps. A little bit slow and tight on the corner. 
But the basic mechanics of these difficult elements, no problem. You can see the upper body movement, the choreography is good. There's the triple sakao. Pretty focused to get all the jumps done throughout the program. Fiber under review by the technical panel. But another strong performance. What's nice is they're skating, and as I talked about already, the depth is stronger, but the competition, the competitiveness is stronger as well. They're delivering what they need to deliver to be competitive. 116.22 personal best for Ida, but 103.81 is her season's best. I think she'll beat that here. Wow, what a competition so far. And we have 10 skaters to come. This is exciting. Anxiously awaiting her scores. But the brilliant performance of Anastasia Bradenberg so far has been the highlight and the standard has been set. As she has the lead with a 175.51. And the scores, wait, at a Karunan season's best at 106.54. That is second in the free program with a total competition score of 162.55, and that'll put her currently overall into second place. Not quite the same quality yet, but certainly the content is there, work to be done.